My dad died when I was a teenager. I grew up in a two-family house in Ridgefield Park. When you're a kid and you have a great family, you don't have to have money to think you're rich. I thought we were millionaires. Little did I know we had no money. I'm going to tell you my, my personal story, which I don't often do. When I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. This is a deteriorating eye condition of the retina that leads to blindness. So from where I'm standing right now, I cannot see a single one of you. By the time I got out of college, I became a client of the New Jersey Commission for the Blind and a Social Security Disability recipient. And they asked what's going to happen to our son. He said he's going to end up weaving baskets. And I went for a job interview to this rinky-dink little cabinet show. And I said, sir, let me do this for you for free. Give me two weeks. I'll work for free. And I'll show you what I can do. We struggled for years, but I woke up one day in 1988, and I was the largest kitchen cabinet dealer in the tri-state area. I went from being a Social Security disability recipient to a successful businessman. Not because of a government program, but because of the free market economy, because of an opportunity given by business, not by government. That's what America is all about. It is my honor to endorse him for the United States Senate, and a bigger honor to introduce him, New Jersey's next United States Senator, Mayor Steve Lonegan.